You are joining us at the home of an award-winning 20-acre showcase of botanical gardens. It's the Rotary uh, Botanical Gardens of Janesville. Maybe you've heard of it. We're going to meet with the folks a little bit later and learn how it all started here. Maybe you've also heard the word tulle. It's a light, beautiful fabric. It's also city in France. So how cool that it's part of the name of a woman's boutique here in Janesville. And we have the owner here, Kari Rents. Thanks for joining us, Kari. Thank you for having me. So the name of your business is Velvet and Tulle Boutique. How lovely is that? Thank you. Tell us what's inside. Um, well, we are a contemporary casual women's clothing boutique, uh, but we really do carry a little bit of everything, ranging from um, semi-formal attire to um, your regular jeans, t-shirts. We have a great selection of home goods as well. Wow. And we are here in Jeansville. I want to talk a little bit about your location. In fact, we were talking about the physical space over the break because it's really a quite incredible one. And I want to talk a little bit about how you chose that location. So one of um, the, the main things that we were looking for when we, when we found the location were to be in downtown Janesville. Um, downtown Janesville has so much to offer. Um, it really has come a long way in the past few years, and I'm proud to say that we were part of that. Um, there were a lot of things inside the building that we did not know that exist. Um, a lot of people know us for the wooden arches that we uncovered. Um, so there is a lot of beauty in the building, um, but part of the character of the store itself is the original brick, the original ceiling, um, the original even flooring. And congrats for uncovering all that beauty that has been hidden. Thank you. It's a nice element. And Kari, when I was reading about that history, I thought it was very neat that when you go way back to its very origins, it, I think it was a woman's hat shop? Exactly. That's so cool. Kind of come full circle as a woman's boutique now. I agree. It's actually, I noticed that you also have stuff for the home and pets. We do. So I am definitely um, a dog lover. So everything that I have in the store is Tucker approved um, by my dog. So I feel that um, if I'm looking for things for him that are special and original, probably there are a lot of other pet owners that are looking for the same. But your meat and potatoes is the women's items there. I'm wondering what you enjoy about having a woman's boutique. Yeah, definitely um, the, the core of our business is women's clothing. Um, probably the thing that I enjoy the most uh, is that I am a shopper. I love to shop really unique finds. I love to shop nice quality items. So it was really important for me to bring that to Janesville. You know, and I think it's important to note too for those of you who are sitting on the couch at home, maybe watching this segment, that you have an online element to your store. In fact, I was shopping a little bit on my way down here <laughs> and a beautiful selection of things for folks to look at there. Let's talk about that. Thank you. So we have um, not always been an online store. Our core is a brick and mortar store, but when um, we were shut down, Last March, we needed to pivot, and that was one of the, the biggest reasons for being online. It really helped us survive through that tough time, and now we are continuing with the online store, and I plan on continuing it um, from here on out. It was almost a way to force me into doing something that I dreaded doing, and now that it's up and, up and running, it's, it's a great thing to have. Nothing like a nudge from a pandemic. <laughs> Correct. To get your online store <laughs> up and running. A nudge in so many different ways. That's the truth. Kari, what would you say sets your boutique apart from other women's clothing stores? Um, Velvet and Tool is a very um, low pressure, fun shopping experience. It's, it's really important for me to be that. It's very often a place that you come shopping and you know the other people that are in currently in the store shopping so it's a very friendly environment it's a very um, close environment to make friends and um, just talk to talk to one another so a very fun place and i have to tell our viewers for those of you who are shopping coming up not too far away of course i'm a mom so i think about it early is mother's day you have a wonderful selection of items for moms and for our viewers who are watching you also have a code that you can use to shop store-wide online using code janesville women 15 in fact you're seeing it on screen right now so that is valid the entire month of april we appreciate you saving our viewers some money too. of course you're very <laughs> welcome i also noticed the mother's day 
estate. It's actually a tab on the website just for mothers. Some of the favorite items were so many lavender, speaking of lavender, <laughs> lavender items. There was um, lotions and oils and a couple, uh, maybe a shout out to a few other favorites that you have on your Mother's Day. Oh, absolutely. The lavender, uh, we actually carry Los Poblanos Lavender um, Body Care Line, which is made of all organic lavender from New Mexico. So they've been around for a long time and have a very nice quality product. Other than that, we carry a full line of Katie Loxton jewelry and handbags. A lot of it is themed towards mom. And then, of course, we have great hand-poured soy candles that are poured in North Carolina. And we try and carry as much as we can um, that is made in the United States. Kari, it all sounds great, doesn't it? It does. All right. Thanks for coming in today, Kari. Thank you for having me. So you can check them out online, look at some of those Mother's Day ideas, or go visit them at 217 West Milwaukee Street. Check out those cool wooden arches. We'll be right back.